Our journey begins at the heart of our solar system, the Sun, a G-type main-sequence star, blazing with energy. It's the center, the anchor, a ball of burning gas, fusing hydrogen into helium. It casts light, warms our Earth, and gives us life. Without it, we wouldn't exist. Its gravity holds everything in orbit, keeps planets in motion, and shields us from the darkness of space. Around the Sun, the planets drift. Some are rocky, some are gas giants, others icy, each one unique, yet bound by the same force, gravity. Terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Rocky, solid, scorched by the Sun, or frozen in the cold expanse. Mercury, closest to the Sun, is a scorched wasteland. Venus, shrouded in toxic clouds, burns with a deadly heat. Earth, our home, a delicate balance of land, water, and life. Mars, the red world, cold and desolate, but once a cradle for ancient rivers. Gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, massive, their beauty hidden beneath thick clouds. Jupiter, the giant king, swirling with storms, its great red spot a storm that's raging for centuries. Saturn, adorned with its iconic rings, a world of icy moons and endless mysteries. Now ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, far out, cold and distant, yet full of intrigue. Uranus, tipped on its side, a strange, tilted world. Neptune, dark and stormy, home to the fiercest winds in the solar system. Beyond them are the, the dwarf planets, Pluto, Eris, Haumea, Makemake, Ceres. Small, scattered remnants from the early days of the solar system, frozen worlds lingering on the outskirts. Around these planets, moons circle, natural satellites, each one a world of its own. Earth's moon, with its craters and desolate surface, a silent witness to our history. Jupiter's Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, a frozen giant with oceans buried beneath its icy crust. Moons like Io with its volcanic fury, or Saturn's Titan, a moon with lakes of methane and an atmosphere of its own. The solar system is also filled with small bodies, scattered remnants from its formation. Asteroids, rocky fragments, mostly in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Some are tiny, some large enough to threaten planets. Comets, icy travelers from the outer reaches of the solar system. When they approach the sun, their icy cores heat up and form tails, a beautiful reminder of their long journey through the void. Then there are the meteoroids, small particles from comets or asteroids entering Earth's atmosphere. As they burn up, they become meteors, a streak of light across the sky. Some, large enough to survive the descent, become meteorites, touching the Earth with a history older than our planet. Stars born from nothing but gas and dust, a cloud of material collapsing under its own gravity, heating up, igniting in the darkness. This is how it all starts, the birth of a star. When a star forms, it enters the main sequence, like our sun. Here, hydrogen fuses into helium, releasing energy that powers the star for billions of years. This is the steady, stable phase, the heart of a star's life. In this phase, it shines, providing light and warmth across the universe. But stars are not eternal. Eventually, they exhaust their hydrogen fuel. Then begins stellar evolution. For stars like the Sun, the end begins with the red giant phase. The star expands, its outer layers cool, and it becomes a giant. It sheds its outer shell, releasing clouds of gas into space. What remains is a white dwarf, a small, dense remnant, no longer shining with the energy of fusion, but slowly cooling over billions of years. For more massive stars, the fate is far more violent. They explode in a supernova, a brilliant burst of light and energy. What's left behind is a neutron star, a dense core, only a few kilometers wide, packed with more mass than the Sun itself. And for the most massive stars, a black hole, a region where gravity is so strong, not even light can escape. The ultimate fate of a star, a final collapse into infinity. But stars come in many varieties. Some are not as stable as the sun, they flicker and pulse. Variable stars dash, their brightness changes over time. Others are part of binary systems, two stars orbiting each other, their fates intertwined. In these systems, the stars can exchange matter, altering the very nature of their existence. Some stars become pulsars, rapidly rotating neutron stars, 
emitting beams of radiation as they spin. These stars send signals across space, like cosmic lighthouses, pulsing with regular precision. In the vastness of space, stars are not solitary. They often form together in groups called star clusters. Open clusters are loose collections. Young stars still forming spread out across space. These stars are siblings, born from the same cloud of gas and dust. They share a history, but as they age, they begin to drift apart. On the other hand, globular clusters are dense, spherical collections of stars. These ancient groups are packed tightly together. Their stars are often billions of years old. They orbit the center of galaxies, their stars fading into the cosmic dark. And surrounding these stars, we find nebulae, vast clouds of gas and dust, the birthplaces of stars. Some nebulae emit light, charged particles colliding and glowing in the void. These are emission nebulae, radiating with the energy of new stars, their colors shifting with the temperature of the gas. Others reflect light, clouds of dust that scatter the light of nearby stars. These are reflection nebulae, their glow a pale diffused blue. Then, there are the planetary nebulae, the shells of gas expelled by dying stars, a final breath before the star fades into a white dwarf, and the remnants of violent deaths, supernova remnants, the expanding debris of stars that exploded in their final act. These remnants stretch out, spreading across space, a reminder of the chaos and beauty of a star's end. This is just the beginning, a glimpse into the vast interconnected universe, stars, planets, and galaxies all moving through the same space, shaped by the forces of gravity and time. And beyond all of this, there is still more to discover, endless mysteries waiting to be unlocked. Beyond the solar system, the universe unfolds in vast spirals, ellipses, and chaos. Galaxies, these immense collections of stars, gas, and dust, each one a universe in itself, shaped by gravity and time. Spiral galaxies like our Milky Way are elegant, their arms swirling out from the center in graceful spirals. Stars are born here, live their lives, and die in the arms of the galaxy. At the core, a dense cluster of stars, sometimes hiding a supermassive black hole, a quiet engine shaping the very structure of the galaxy. Their arms stretch out, a mesmerizing dance of starlight, the creation of new worlds and the end of old ones. The spiral pattern, though seemingly simple, is the result of cosmic forces working together, an intricate ballet of gravity, motion, and time. The center of each spiral galaxy is often its brightest point. The gravity there pulls everything in, from the stars to the dark matter that surrounds it, creating a gravitational well, where time and space itself are distorted. Then, there are the elliptical galaxies. Spherical, smooth, their stars older, and fewer in number. The fire of new star formation is long extinguished here. The galaxies drift shaped over billions of years by cosmic forces. Their stars quietly age in the emptiness of space. A quiet reflection of the past, a remnant of an era where stars once burned brightly, now slowly fading into the silence of time. Irregular galaxies, a different breed. No defined shape, no grand design, fragmented, chaotic, they tell stories of collisions, of gravity's unpredictable pull. Yet in their chaos, stars still burn newborn and bright against the backdrop of their disordered form. These galaxies are the survivors of cosmic battles, the aftermath of collisions, where gravity has torn them apart. But still, life, in the form of stars, remains. Clusters of galaxies come next, bound together by the invisible hand of gravity. Galaxy clusters are groups, sometimes small, sometimes vast, each galaxy a unique world, but together they move held in the gentle grip of shared gravity. The distances between them are vast, but their gravitational pull is enough to bind them. Some clusters are sprawling, containing thousands of galaxies, each a different world, each with its own story. And then there's the grand scale, superclusters, vast collections of galaxy clusters, stretching across billions of light years. These superclusters are the largest known structures in the universe, their mass and gravity shaping the very fabric of space itself. They represent the grand architecture of the cosmos, the building blocks of the universe's large-scale structure. As galaxies and clusters merge and collide, new stars are born from the chaos, and the galaxy, 
like a living being, evolves. A reminder that the universe is never static, always in flux, always changing. Each merger is a moment of creation, new stars igniting from the clash, new forces at work in the cosmic dance, and beyond the galaxies, the cosmic web unfolds. The universe is not a random scattering of galaxies, but a vast interconnected structure. Filaments of galaxies stretch across the void, their gravitational pull binding them together. These filaments are the scaffolding of the universe, stretching across unimaginable distances. A spider web of galaxies suspended in the fabric of space-time. Between these filaments lie the voids, vast expanses of empty space where galaxies are sparse, where the universe is quiet, where the silence stretches out across billions of light years. The cosmic web is the blueprint of the universe, its design written in the fabric of space-time, shaped by gravity and still unfolding, still expanding. It is a reminder that the universe is not random, but instead follows a pattern, a grand design, a cosmic order that we are just beginning to understand. As we venture further, we encounter the unknown dash, the exotic and hypothetical objects of the universe, phenomena that push the boundaries of our understanding. These objects challenge the very fabric of science, offering glimpses into the mysteries of existence. Quasars, extremely luminous regions at the center of distant galaxies, powered by the immense gravitational energy of a supermassive black hole. They shine brighter than entire galaxies. Their light crosses billions of years to reach us. They are beacons from the distant past, remnants of the universe's early days. In their light, we see the universe as it was, young, chaotic, and alive with the birth of stars and galaxies. These cosmic beacons are some of the brightest objects we can observe, their energy overwhelming a reminder of the raw power that fuels the universe. Then there is dark matter, a mysterious force that doesn't emit light yet holds galaxies together. We cannot see it, but we know it's there by the way it influences the rotation of galaxies, by its invisible grip on the cosmos. Dark matter is the unseen hand shaping the universe from the shadows. It is everywhere and yet nowhere. Making up around 27% of the universe's mass energy content, it is an invisible force, controlling the motions of galaxies and galaxy clusters. We can't touch it, but it shapes everything we see. In the end, dark matter may be the key to understanding the structure of the universe itself. And dark energy, a force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe, it pushes galaxies apart, stretching the fabric of space itself. Dark energy is a mystery, an enigma that makes up most of the universe, yet remains beyond our grasp. Its influence is far-reaching, affecting the entire cosmos, yet it eludes our understanding. Some believe it is a property of space itself, a kind of energy inherent in the vacuum of space. Whatever it is, dark energy is the force behind the universe's continuing expansion, causing galaxies to drift further apart at an accelerating pace. Finally, the wormholes, theoretical passages through space-time, bridges between distant parts of the universe, or perhaps between different universes entirely. These theoretical objects are suggested by Einstein's theory of general relativity, but remain firmly in the realm of speculation. Imagine a tunnel, bending space-time, allowing one to traverse the unimaginable distances between galaxies in an instant. It is a tantalizing thought, the possibility of traveling faster than light, of moving between distant parts of the universe, or even between parallel universes. Though they exist only in the realm of theory, they represent the possibility of travel beyond the stars, a shortcut through the vast emptiness, a way to move faster than the speed of light, in this grand, interconnected universe, we have only begun to scratch the surface. Galaxies, stars and dark matter, the known and the unknown, all intertwining. Each discovery opens a new door, leading us deeper into the mystery toward a greater understanding of our place in the cosmos. With this, we come to the end of our video. See you in the next one. Until then, keep exploring the galaxies and stars.